So a while ago I built this thing. Link in the description. So the quad chair bike was a cool project, but it had something of an identity crisis. It was somewhere halfway between an adaptive mountain bike and some sort of adaptive off-road wheelchair. Too fast to be the wheelchair, probably a little sketchy to be the mountain bike. We shelved the project for a while and to sort of take some time to sort of figure out where we were at with it. During this time we were approached by a couple named Mike and Helen who decided they really liked the quad chair bike having seen the video and were interested in using it for what they've coined the term adaptive hiking. In other words, it is designed to be uh, speed limited and used on hiking trails in national parks. This gave me a bit more of a firmer direction on the bike and we started developing it and it's no longer a bike. It's, uh, I guess, an adaptive off-road wheelchair hiking solution and we've called it Sherpy. Mike and Helen, uh, they were going through a similar realisation I think that I was at the time in their search for the equipment they needed and that is that 
outdoor recreational equipment for disability is often engineered in a very binary way. In other words, it's designed to cater for the most incapacitated person, if you like, and then it's then moved on to everybody as a, as a one-size-fits-all type solution. And I can see the engineer's point. If you is, if you make it extremely capable, it'll obviously be able to help uh, the the most you know the most need of those functions, as well as grab a whole bunch of other other people as well to help. But the downside of that is the machines often end up very heavy, very complicated, very expensive, and ultimately just a little bit too much machine for somebody who uh, who doesn't need all of that function. Mike and Helen and I were of the realization that. The vast majority of people who are seeking these machines are often quite fit and healthy, but uh, lacking some level of mobility <clears throat> or experiencing some frailty in life and ultimately just need m the more simple end of the scale here and something more robust and lighter. And when you take away some of the functionality and just focus on robustness, the machine gets a lot simpler, a lot easier to build and a lot easier to maintain. And this is essentially the genesis of Sherpy. Sherpy is not an extremely overly capable off-road wheelchair or, or whatever you might like to call it. It's more of a, I guess, an extension, if you like, of, for somebody who may not be able to walk more than a few hundred metres or maybe is quite fit and healthy but can't walk at all and enable them to experience hiking trips and, uh, and uh, outdoor time again in a way which is not basically becoming the full feature of the event if you like they they can join in with friends and go and go for a walk and 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 and, it, and also have the advantage of being the, their friend's pack horse carry the lunch and carry the outdoor gear carry the um the, the safety gear and all that kind of stuff and make the the walk more enjoyable for their friends as well sherpy features a whole bunch of just off the shelf, very simple bicycle components. The 20 by four inch wheels have become very popular in e-bikes and, and uh, kids fat bikes as well, if you like, all, all these sorts of things. So tires, rims, readily available. It, it features the tri-sled standard over the years, at least uh, direct steering on the front. The direct steering is uh, very simple and has three moving parts and it actually provides handlebar locations which are favorable to I guess the ergonomic of the rider they can rest rest their hands on it uh, the cabin if you like or the or the bodywork is um, made of uh, laser cut uh, folded aluminium super durable and um, really built like a I guess an army jeep in a way isn't it uh, the reason we went with some bodywork is we wanted to create some guarding from the wheels and also the, the, the left hand handlebar is actually removable so that you can transfer from a wheelchair across into the chair, uh, into, into the uh, Sherpy. And we wanted to be able to use, uh, I guess the bodywork as sort of part of the slide board, if that makes sense. You can sort of slide across the bodywork and, and in. Um, and obviously if you're going outside, you're gonna get dirty and muddy. So it says as, as a mud guard um, to, to keep the, um, keep the, the, uh, the mud off, off the, the person inside. And, our initial observations of that is actually significantly cleaner in Sherpy than it was in the uh, quad chair bike prototype. It also created, you'll notice the basket on the back, which is obviously a really good um, uh, cargo space as well. The The seat folds down and the handlebars fold down for transport uh, so that you can actually get the length, sorry, the height down a little bit to uh, to fit into like a tray ute or a hatchback car or all these sorts of things. Um, the, there's not really much more to say about it than that. It's uh, it's powered obviously by e-bike tech. Um, lots of reduction, speed limit to about 15 kilometers per hour um, and direct driven so that we can have reverse gear. Uh, reverse gear was an incredibly, incredibly important fe feature in, it, in in the walking sense. Um, maybe not so much if this was to be used in the, uh, as if it was gonna be used in a faster, more uh, e-bike type sense if you like but we think that'll be probably more of a spin-off of Sherpy and not what Sherpy currently is
Mike and Alan uh, have their two Sherpies now, and um, we've built a third one, which will travel back and forth between them and us as, as I guess, the test mill, if you like, for ideas and sort of developing um, any improvements that we see along the way. We're going to go about uh, six to 12 months now with just these uh, three vehicles out in the wild, see how they track and gauge interest from you guys as to whether or not we want to build more of these or, or uh, help more people with them. Uh, the way that'll go down is probably a once a year batch. We'll do, uh, we'll take orders through the year and then do one big production, uh, probably sometime sort of in the later parts of the year, just before the warmer weather. Uh, if Sherpy is of interest to you, then uh, contact us. Um, and if it's for you or for a friend or, or a loved one, um, and either come down and see us to have a ride on ours, or uh, we'll put you in touch with Mike and Helen, and you can um, go have an experience with them to see if Sherpy is right for you, and if it's something that will uh, enrich your life. If you got this far in the video, you're obviously interested in this and probably interested in what we do. I encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps a lot and check out some of the other custom builds we've done and uh, our journey through all sorts of uh, recumbent and human powered vehicle racing adventures and constructions. Uh, and if you would like to support the channel, please uh, hit the link below and buy me a coffee. Uh, I make these machines and design these machines for a living, but I build these videos for free. So uh, supporting the channel just encourages me to create this contact so you guys can see what we've been up to and um, come with us on the journey of some of these builds. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.